Now the next six uh, points we'll be making are events that will lead up to the tribulation but are not yet fulfilled. And so the uh, fourth birth pang is the Northern Alliance invasion of Israel, detailed from Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 1 to chapter 39 verse 16. We'll begin with the basic exposition of the passage and then we'll deal with the timing of when this invasion um, should occur. So these two passages, these two chapters of Ezekiel describe an invasion of Israel from the north and the subsequent destruction of the invading forces once they reach the area of the mountains of Israel. It will first be necessary to look at the details of this invasion and then deal with the controversial question as to when will this invasion occur. The passage will be approached with the questions of who, where, why, what, how, and when. We begin with the alliance of, uh, of chapter 38 verses 1 through 6 that answers the question of who. And the prophet names peoples involved in this invasion. In verses 1 through 4, attention is centered on Gog, the leader of the land of Magog. He is also the prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal. Who Gog will be can only be determined at the time of this invasion because the term Gog is not a proper name but a title for the rule of Magog, just as the terms Pharaoh and Kaiser and Tsar were titles for the rulers of certain countries and not proper names. Whoever is ruling this alliance at the time of the invasion will be Ezekiel's Gog. The identification of Magog, Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal needs to be determined from the fact that these tribes of the ancient world occupied the areas of modern-day Russia. Magog, Meshach, and Tubal were between the Black and Caspian Seas, which today happens to be southern Russia. Also, it includes parts of Iran and uh, modern-day Turkey. According to some, the tribes of Meshach and Tubal later gave names to the cities today the the name of Moscow, the capital of Russia, and Tobolsk, a major city in the Urals in Siberia. Rosh is what is now northern Russia. The name Rosh is, based upon, is the basis for the modern name Russia. These names then covered the modern territories of northern and southern Russia, in Europe and Siberia, uh, to the east in Asia. The modern nation of Russia encompasses all these areas of Ezekiel. As if to avoid any further possibility, any possible doubt, verse 6 asks that these come from the outermost parts of the north, and this is repeated in chapter 38, verse 15, and chapter 39, verse 2. From Israel, the outermost parts of the north is Russia, with Moscow being almost a straight line due, uh, due north of Jerusalem. Hence, Russia is the leader of the Northern Confederacy, with Gog as the leader of Russia. This has also been the rabbinic view. The Artskoll Commentary in Ezekiel, which is the Orthodox uh, Jewish Commentary, reads as follows. The Gaonim had a tradition that these controls were indeed located in Russia. One tradition passes down from the Vilna Gaon states, when the Russian Navy passes through the Bosporus, that is on the way to the Dardanelles, it will be time to put on Sabbath clothes in anticipation of the coming of the Messiah. In the Gog and Magog War, Meshach, the Messiah, is the son of Joseph, who will be killed when in this war, and then will come the Messiah, the son of David, that will resurrect the first Messiah back to life. But Russia is not alone in this invasion of Israel. She is part of a confederacy and the leader of it. The other nations involved are listed in verses 5 and 6. It involved, involved in the confederacy is Persia, which is today modern-day Iran. Once Iran was rather generally pro-Western and pro-Israel. After the Khomeini Islamic Revolution, Iran became anti-Western and anti-Israel 
and more within the Russian sphere of influence. The full length of this particular video presentation is 52 minutes. This brief sample should help to demonstrate the depth and quality of these teachings and recordings. There are 15 video lectures, 10 hours of teaching content for this course on eschatology and the Book of Revelation. To order this or another online course, visit us at www.arielcollege.com.